Well, good morning, everybody. It is a great day, great morning here at Las Conchas Del Mar, and we're ready for another build day. We've got a beautiful sunrise here this morning. Nice sunny day. Really looks like it's going to be a great day. These are Melinda's mom's cows. Her dad stakes them out around different places here in the subdivision to keep the grass ate down in here. So let's let's do a little walk through here and I'll show you how that's going. So as we walk in right here, this is be all landscaping down the side, all the way down as far as you can see down through there will be landscaping. And we're building those beds now. As you can see, the nice curbs and all taking place right here. Melinda has been a little preemptive and she's planted some vegetables in there for right now. But that's only temporary and we'll get to a point to where all that dirt sometime will be dug back down below grade and a finish put on that fence painting and all and as well on these curbs so over here on this side coming up by the steps once they're done it'll be nice beautiful steps when they're done with the nice hand railings will be also around our well right here landscaping and i plan on to decorate out that well as well <laughs> These pipes right here will have holes drilled in them where water can uh, leach in. So if we have a heavy rain, it doesn't flood out these beds and they can drain out right here in the front. Um, I'm glad I got the guys to do that. Took a little explaining, get down, show it to them, kind of do it by example and then they understand. And I have them the same on this side. So left and right when you come up is landscaping. Then here in front of the house, at this lower room here, also I made a landscaping bed here. And I told Melinda, don't plant nothing in here yet because we have to pull the soil back once we're done here working and we start prepping the walls on this house for finishing. And again, we need to work on putting a finish below grade on here. Now something I'll see happen a lot here in the Philippines is I will see them just paint right down to whatever dirt's piled there. They won't remove it and get it down to the bottom of the wall. They'll literally paint just wherever the dirt is. I, I don't get that. But all this will get dug back nice and even down to the tie beam. And it'll start getting its primer and finishing coming up. So let's walk on around right here. As you see now, I have them working on the landscaping continuing on so right here the bed makes a curve it'll make a slight curve around again going towards that cr it'll curve around again down there curving once more going all the way down to the other side of the cr and this will all be landscaping and gardening right here coming around this corner i wanted more greenery we've got a little bit of plumbing stuff that goes in for a roof drain and it's going to be kind of hit away this is a mock-up on plumbing he actually did not do it the way i want it so i stopped him yesterday the other tube that slid in there uh it's just temporary in there too that is where i can get a power source for low voltage landscaping lights but as you come around let's back up here again you'll come around and make this walk you'll come around right here You'll have landscaping bed and you'll have landscaping all down through there. And this will soon begin to get set to be poured in concrete right here. You'll be on concrete right here where I'm walking now. And this down the side of the house, when you come around and this is all gone, you'll have a big open view of the beach as soon as you come around the corner. Of course, you can't see this much right now with bamboo and tarpaulins and work materials in the way. This will be a big landscaping bed here. There's a window on the side of this room. I side to center up this round curved bed right in front of it. This is our water tank, underground water tank that'll catch rain catchment off the roof from these pipes. And it'll also have a landscaping bed going in behind it. And you really won't even see this water tank anymore because it'll have a wide patio poured right over the top of it continuous from around the corner so yesterday 
I laid out all of these. I got down here and staked it all out and marked it and uh, kind of made the bow using some of the PPR pipe, that white pipe there. Used it to make my nice curves. Got it all laid out and set up for them to begin working on. And this one as well. All of this is being laid out and started by me. And once I get them an example and show them exactly how I want it, then they continue on. The tank, the tank is poured. As you see right there, it is poured 100%. It won't even take them 30 minutes to yank all this bamboo and the forms out this morning. And we will see a big open tank inside then. So what will be next on this tank? Well, what will be next is pouring the lid and the remaining patio down through here over the top of it. So once they yank all this out today, um, they'll go inside and set up forms and they'll reuse some of that plywood there again, those forms, and turn it up and make a form to pour concrete on top and set the steel. Well, I have two manholes in this. Um, one probably down at this end, one down at this end. That'll be flush that can be lifted out. And so it'll make it easier for going in there and cleaning and servicing the tank in the future. You can open them both up, get some light in there, get some air in there if you need to like pump this thing out, clean it, and maybe remove algae and things like that. So that is what they will begin working on this morning. And we're also going to continue to tie up some plumbing here. I went and bought the supplies yesterday while I was out. So once we conclude pouring this concrete down this side of the house, and over top of this water tank, we will begin moving up on the house again. We will begin going back up, doing all of our building and forming up there. I wanted this concrete down below, all the way around the house, that's gonna eventually would have been there anyway, to use it for support. Sticking that bamboo in the ground like that, and you put a heavy load of concrete up above, it's just going to press it down into the ground and we're going to end up with wavy forms and wavy concrete. I didn't want that. I wanted something really solid down and being that we're going to pour all that eventually anyway. Pour it now and make use of it now. So here it is, they're gonna pull the inside forms right now. They gotta take a few screws out of the corners right there and little tiny corner blocks there that just kind of hold it locked in place. They'll yank those out and we'll be ready to pull the forms back out and repurpose them to make the lid. This is my overflow. So when the tank gets too full, it'll go into this and it'll go over to the small fish pond that we're building over there. And that way, anytime it rains too much and this tank overflows, it'll just take it over and put fresh water into the fish pond. And there'll be an overflow from that that'll go out to the sand to the beach. That way, it'll do a natural clean out on these good tropical rains for our pond over there. Okay. 
come help set this out? Yeah. You gotta pick your end up, Miller. Okay, I think it's gonna break in half. Uh, hey, here, help here, out here. Nice. Grab it right here with me, Mara. There you go. Go up, Let's go that way. Take this out there and lay it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, break that on off. Alright. Take it out there and lay it down. We're gonna reuse this piece. Lay it down out there next to that steel. And lay lay it down out there next to that steel. Ready? We gotta split it off over here. I'll break it. I'll just break it. Just let it go down. Okay. Yeah, there you go. What's happening, man? There you go. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to break that one up right at the top. Hey, you'll have to uh, break it above the pipe right there. Yeah, yeah. Just get a saw and saw that. Yeah, take a saw and just saw that, and then we'll slip it down and then out. No, you don't look like you're dressed for work, man. You, man, you you look a little too relaxed here. Man, we see who's got it easy in this job, huh? Another delivery from FLS. You see, oh no, he's got his FLS Enterprise shirt on. Look at him, boy. Yeah, pimping it. These guys always take good care of me. I enjoy them when they come here. Oh. Uh, uh, back to work. <laughs> Pull it down. Drop it. Down. Push down. Down. There you go. See? So there it is. Miller's doing exactly what needs to be done. He knew it. Start cleaning that slag up off that floor. He knew exactly what to do. So there it is inside. Looks really good. No need now for rendering. Nothing. Prior to me ever building this place here for years, I observed their techniques of doing things here in the Philippines. And I noticed a lot of times they would build a form for the lid inside the tank. They put all this material inside, all this support to hold it up, but they didn't think ahead about to remove that material out of there. So what they would do is just down inside that little small work area, just ripping and trying to destroy those forms down to small pieces to get them out when they could have already pre-cut it into small pieces. And once you tear your form apart in there, you can knock it out in the strips and carry it right out the manhole and then that's actually wood that can still be used again because you can always make use of two foot by four foot pieces when you're doing lots of forming like we are here so it's also still about reusability 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 and that's also where i keep the cost down low in this building project because every piece of this form wood will get used again and again and again When you got a lot of guys working, they need a lot of water. Too big. Too big is what they call it here in the local language and dialect. Not like too big, like James is too big. <laughs> but too big as in water is too big. So we got a truck full of it back here right now. And we go through a lot of water fast. It's hot. We got many people working. 
cleaning stuff, all different things. And uh, mainly it's for drinking. Mainly for drinking. All right, right here. This is the guilty dog on the boat. <laughs> yeah, the guilty dog on the boat right here. Yes. But I'm going to tell you, everybody was proud to see that you stood up like a man nice. and went and bought the materials for the boat, handled getting someone here to repair it, yes. everything. You felt really bad about that, didn't you? Yes, yes. Man, so this is him right here. I'm really proud of you, Marvin. Yes, I know. Yeah, it's my buddy right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I well, love my brother. Ah, it's wonderful <laughs> words. <laughs> we are close, man. We have been in a couple arguments before, though, hadn't yes. we? Yeah, it's family. That's the way we are. Family's going to have bad days. Yes. But the main thing is stick through it. Yes. Understand each other. That's right. That's man. right. I love you, man. I love you. So what I'm having Mop Mop to do here that they don't do a lot of times here when they're building these forms inside of a tank for a lid is I'm having him to cut this down. We've already got it formed. See, it's all one form here. Now I'm having to cut it only through the plywood in the two foot strips that'll fit out our manhole doors when we get ready to disassemble that form inside. So many times here in the Philippines, I've seen them form all of that inside and when they go inside to knock that form out after they pour the lid they have to destroy the wood in 10 million pieces see you know what i'm talking about don't you and and it makes it so hard to remove the form so if you'll go ahead and cut cut your sheet in two and it's already scored in two right there your form's still solid you just already got pre-made cuts when you knock it down inside those pieces will go right out the door. I need him to make some temporary bamboo supports to put underneath there on it. And uh, we're going to leave this gap open until the last to go inside and work. So fast, right there, we set on almost all of that form. And I was just telling the guys, when I watched them build even a tank over here that's less than half the size next door, they messed around forever in their forming, 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 trying to build it so precise like that they're building the floor of a house or something. It was unbelievable. So this would be where my two manholes are, enter it and clean it. want two of them because you always want to have some light coming in. You want some air coming in. You may want to lay a fan over one of them, blow inside if you're ever servicing it. See, y'all sitting out here eating green mango and shrimp paste, huh? Green mango and shrimp paste. That's what these girls out here smacking on. Ooh, yeah, I can smell it. Mel and I stopped on the side of the highway yesterday and got these uh, bottles of vinegar with the chilies, everything already inside of it. Man, doesn't that look good? 
Got it from two different vendors, two different ones. Projects coming on together here. We're doing the landscaping around right here where all the gardening and flower beds and all be. So it's moving right along from the front there. <laughs> I looked and they had steel stuck out of it down through here and I'm like, what in the world? Man, they thought that I was gonna pour this whole like yard or something in the concrete. I'm like, oh no, get those out of there. <laughs> So you see here, you'd walk around the house here, and you see how the landscaping is going to curve and go right on down through there. And soon you'll be able to see also over here how the cement's going to be poured as well. But they did have a misunderstanding today, thinking that that whole entire area was going to be poured cement. So Joel's here putting the plumbing together. This is a uh, pipe coming in from the downstairs plumbing and the other pipe coming in from the upstairs plumbing. Meeting together here in a Y and carrying on out to the septic tank that's underneath the CR over there. So he's getting that connected up. And the reason that we're connecting those without a house even built yet is because tomorrow we're going to be pouring cement right here and we need that pipe under that cement they're having to hurry and cover the cement a rain just hit so they're taking all the old all the old sacks trying to hurry and get over it before it damages the finish <laughs> i gotta hurry before my windows <laughs> get my windows up man let's see can i see everybody there Oh, I see someone hiding over here. Yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 